Hello everyone, welcome back to the Pro Atelier. Following the video that I did on the green saladon of the Song Dynasty, I decided to follow it up with another video on the Sicho Ware, so called Sicho Ware, because it comes from the province of Sicho or sometimes referred to as Ding Ware because it comes from the Ding Kiln of the Royal Imperial Song Dynasty. I love collecting antiques because of the aesthetics of it and also I love to imagine the history of the people behind it. The Song Dynasty was actually founded by Zhao Guang Yin or known as the Emperor Taizu of Song which lasted from 960 AD to 1279. Emperor Taizu united China and ended the so-called Five Dynasties and Ten Kingdoms period in which there were multiple fiefdoms and there was a lot of infighting and instability so there was no central government for its populace and the people suffered a great deal. So he vowed that he was going to bring stability to the empire and that's exactly what he did. He set about building the nation and in time the Song Dynasty became the most prosperous nation on the face of the earth with a GDP three times of that of Europe in the 12th century. Marco Polo even commented that it was one of the most vibrant and beautiful cities outrivaling Europe with the Song Dynasty having 1.5 million people outrivaling Venice with only 100,000 people. There is even a 20 foot long scroll from that time period which is being reenacted and you can see the vibrancy of the city, the prosperity of the city. You can see a new class of people coming up, the merchant class. To a golden age, as one citizen recalled. Above all, I remember the humane and congenial character of the citizens, but you see then, this was a time of peace. There was also significant advancement in science, the compass, the astronomical clock, the gunpowder, but gunpowder was actually used for entertainment purposes, for fireworks, for the imperial court. For the first time, paper money was used and printing blocks were used, so the populace were getting much more educated. Emperor Taizu also opened up the state examinations to people of all classes so that he can reach out and so that he can get the best talents. Whereas in the past, the state examinations for ministerial posts or government posts were only open to the nobility. The economy reached 6 billion gold coins in 1086 via copper, iron and its trade route which reached Africa and even Southeast Asia. So this is where we find the porcelain all the way from China. Arts and culture thrived and its populace enjoyed a new renaissance which was not seen since the Tang Dynasty. Therefore, the populace could enjoy leisurely pursuits such as flower arranging, tea drinking or tea brewing, and uh, calligraphy and painting. It was a very, very highly cultured society. So this is exactly where tea now was enjoyed by all classes of people, whereas in the past it was only enjoyed by the nobility. So you have that tea drinking culture. You can see an excerpt here where it's showing you the green saladon as well as the sicho ware being used and how much pleasure they derive from tea drinking but this sort of a sicho ware or saladon ware was actually used by the nobility and then the commoners were using different types of wares which had less cowling clay almost sort of like heavy pottery some people when they look at the 
pottery or porcelain from the Song Dynasty will say that it's very plain and simple but I beg to differ if you are having a very high aesthetics you can have a look at it and realize that the simpler it is the more elegant and refined it is and so if you look at the situation where behind me I have a bowl as well as a teapot so when you look at the bowl it is paper thin and it's almost weightless you can see how refined it is it's so difficult to get it to this thinness and also the bowl has got a lovely slope to it and it has some etchings or what some would call incised details on it so you can see the slight figure of butterflies all around the sides of the bowl it is extremely thin and it is really really refined and if you look at the teapot as well it actually resembles the shape of a pumpkin so the chinese is always very aesthetically inclined you can see the lines going down the sides of the pot resembling the lines on a pumpkin and even the handle itself and the stopper emulates the stem of a pumpkin so everything is so aesthetically inclined and also the wonderful thing about this Sicho ware is that it has got a very lovely wonderful earthy aroma about it but it sort of reminds me of the scent of rainfall after a rainfall you have that lovely lovely dewy scent mixed with a little bit of an earthy scent is really really so fascinating and this is how you can differentiate between an authentic piece of antique the period of the Song Dynasty ceramics is one of the most difficult to emulate and then the shortcoming of this period puzzling is that we can see all the entrances at the mouth and the top, the edge or the margin is always not very smooth and polished because at that time the way they make it, they have to put this one upside down and uh, fire and the kill. The Song Dynasty ware is considered to be the highest and finest ceramic ware of any time from any place in our history throughout the world. Daniel Rose said that it's evidence of what a high culture it was. Here in the Song Dynasty is the age of the literati and the work becomes much more refined, very quiet. And because these things are getting more and more scarce, the Song Dynasty ended when it was invaded by the Mongols headed by Genghis Khan. It really makes me sad to think that the dynasty which discovered gunpowder was not able to make use of it as a military weapon. It blows my mind to think that I'm owning a piece from that one of the most fabulous time in Chinese history which is part of my culture because my dad is Chinese. Holding in my possession something that had belonged to someone over a thousand years ago hopefully even belonged to a member of the imperial royal family wouldn't that be something wow that really really stretches my imagination to the limit so thank you so much for spending time with me today i hope that you've enjoyed this video as we journey together along with me via the sicho where through thousands of years of history from the song dynasty to you. If you enjoy this sort of a video, I'm going to be linking the playlist towards the end about Chinese culture, its artifacts and about jade. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. This is Eileen from the Pearl Atelier signing off and goodbye.